Hey, what is up, guys? I am Abira. Welcome back to my channel, AR Codemy, and today I'll be sharing with you a new Python project that I made. So let's get into the uh, the code for it. And uh, what it basically does, it recites you a story, classic American literature, to be exact. So these are the imports. You are using Google Text to Speech, Random, Beautiful Soup for the web scraping, requests, and the OS module. This is the base URL, American Literature. This is what it looks like. Slash short, short stories. The uh, headers, which is the basically, in my case, the user agent. Then we're getting the page, get, making the soup object. Then we have this empty titles list. Then we're getting all the titles, which are links with the class SS link, and the href is true. If I inspect the element, as you can see, a class ss link. Uh, this one, a class ss link. Third one, a class ss link. So these are basically the titles of these stories. So there, we're getting a lot of a lot of titles. So what I'm basically doing is, I am saving the uh, text of the titles, or basically the name, in this titles list we're appending it then we're selecting a random title from this list and then we're checking if the story is okay if the user wants it to be read and we're printing it out within these parentheses using f strings uh, is that okay y slash n and if the user says okay i want to read the story then we're getting the uh, uh the link of the stories and we're saving it uh, story L then we're calling this function listen story this one listen story and the argument we're passing is story L and here what we're doing is if a dot text is sorry so basically if the title and the uh, was that was the other thing the story which the user wants they match then we get the link which is uh, let's see the as if I have it if we go over here slash fill it the name of the author then short story and then the name of the story that's what the we are getting and if the user wants a new story then we are using recursion clearing everything in the titles recursion and then we're calling uh, we have this function listen story which takes the story link setting the language then this is the url this is the page this is the soup and this is the paragraph so we're finding all the paragraphs as you can see this one paragraph this one paragraph so we're just basically getting all the paragraphs that we have here and we're appending them to this variable, uh, string variable called story. So in the end, it's just a big blob of text. So this is where we're doing all the appending. Then the speech object is a Google text to speech. There's the, we're passing the test, the language, and we don't want it to be slow. Then we're saving the audio story.mp3, and then we're making it speak. Here we are calling the function. So this is from a previous sample that I had. Let me just delete that. Okay. Now if I open my terminal and I run python main.py, the story that you will be read is the patient cat. Is that okay? No. The story that you will be read is the dog. Is that okay? No. Regilance peace poem. Yes. Let's read that. Now you might not be able to hear it. I'm also not able to hear it because of uh, my microphone is plugged into the audio jack of my laptop. That's why. But it's actually playing right now. And uh, if I stop this real quick. Let's stop. Okay, now it has stopped. It has stopped now. Now we can just uh, see here we have the story.mp3, right? It made this mp3 file. 
so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to hit that like button if you are new to the channel and haven't done so already subscribe it's absolutely free keep receiving coding videos like this one and educational coding videos as well the link for this the github code will be down in the description i finally updated my github so it will be down in the description click it it will take you to the code run it on your machine make sure it works okay thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace